This is just going to be a short introduction to array lists. Hopefully you've seen arrays and array lists in another programming language, uh, possibly Java. Um, in C Sharp we have both arrays and array lists and then something called a list. Uh, arrays are a built-in data type and they're a fixed size although they can be multi-dimensional. Uh, we'll be looking and using more array lists. Array lists, they are, uh, they are a collection and they can be dynamically resized and we can add elements to them as you want and we can sequentially go through them. Um, they're more dynamic and I see them more used more frequently these days in arrays. And if you know the fixed size of a set of elements, arrays are faster than array lists. Um, but in most applications, array lists will work just fine. Um, so let's just uh, quickly look at how we declare. We just say array list, the name of the list, and then we want to initialize it at some point, and often we do that right away. We say it equals to, and we say a new an array list. Uh, notice in here we don't specify anything about the type. Uh, there's no types uh, with array lists. There's another t uh, collect collection called a list, which is strongly typed, and we'll maybe take a peek at that later on. Um, but notice uh, when we declare the array list, it's underlined in red and in black, so it doesn't because the system doesn't know what it is uh, because we haven't imported or set up the right uh, value. So we need to add this uh, using systems.collections uh, prefix here to our any uh, method that's using array lists. And then once we've added that, you now see array lists are in blue and not underlined as an error. To add elements to the array, uh, here our array is called a list. We just say a list dot add. Here I'm just going to add integers to the array. I'm just adding a set of integers to the list one at a time using the add button. Uh, there are some other ones, but this is the, the easiest way to add on to the end of a list, and adding on to list end of list is generally quite fast. If you notice that array lists do use arrays as the underlying structure uh, for this, so adding to the end of the array is much faster than adding on to the beginning of an array. Um, now to print out the elements in an array list, uh, you can use a, a normal for loop, uh, but we generally prefer to use a for each loop. Uh, hopefully you've seen these before. We just say for each, and then like in this case, since we have integers in our list, we say int and give it some name, and then we say in in the name of the list. Uh, so this type has to match whatever we're storing in the array list, and this is what we'll be using in our loop. Uh, and then this is our, our list. And this will go through the loop and uh, set item equal to 3, go through the loop, set item equal to 5, go through the loop, set item equal to 8, go through the loop, set item equal to 13, and go through the loop. Uh, so it's a nice simple uh, four loops that will go through and assign item to each item in the list. So in this case, we're just printing out that item. Um, you can also print out the, you know, you can have access to a number of different things, including, let's say, the, the size of the list. Uh, the size of the list is just a list.count. Um, this is different than in some other languages where it might be uh, dot size or dot length. Uh, in C Sharp, it's the name of the list dot count is the number of elements in the list. Um, now I can run this. Uh, it pops up really quick because it, this is just a console app. So I'm going to stick in a little bit of code here that we use to keep the console up when we're running in this debug mode. And there's our list, 3, 5, 8, 13. So you can see our for loop printing out each item in the list, and that says the number of items in the list is 4, and it prints that out. That's the count of the list. I'm going to quickly show you the list class, too. Um, so the array list is not typed. Uh, the list type is, and so we declare it a little differently. Um, so where the array list 
uh, didn't specify a type. If we want a list of like integers, we have to use that. So we say list, and then in the greater than less than brackets, we specify the type. In this case, int, and then the name of the list. And again, similar to we we then have to initialize it to a new list at some point, and we're going to do this right away here. We say equals new, and again, similarly, we say uh, list, and then the type of the list int, and then our our closing parentheses. So it's very similar uh, to array list, but again, it's typed. Um, and so, uh, especially with objects and stuff, with array lists, you've often got to have to cast the results in and out of an array list, uh, where with lists, uh, it is already typed. And so there are some subtle differences. But like in our code here with integers, now our entire program will, will run the same uh, with lists uh, just by changing this declaration from array lists. And again, some people will prefer list because it adds some more checking on the type uh, of what's stored in the list. Um, they're very similar uh, in, in how they're implemented and can be used in C-sharp.